quantum computing is rapidly advancing, promising to revolutionize how we solve some of the world's most complex problems. Recently, a major breakthrough came with the unveiling of the Zhu Changji 3.0 quantum processor. This powerful machine features 105 qubits, making it one of the most advanced quantum computers in the world. In this video, we'll explore this processor, how it compares to other cutting-edge quantum processors, and why it matters for the future of technology and society. We'll also delve into the science behind this breakthrough, its broader implications, and the challenges that lie ahead for quantum computing. The Zhu Changji 3.0 processor is designed to tackle some of the biggest challenges in quantum computing. At its core, it uses 105 qubits, which are tiny building blocks of quantum information and arranged in a rectangular grid. This arrangement helps the qubits interact more efficiently, enabling the computer to perform complex calculations. One of the processor's standout features is its ability to keep these qubits stable for longer. Imagine trying to balance a spinning top in a windy room. This is similar to keeping qubits in their delicate quantum states. Thanks to improved designs and noise reduction techniques, this processor can maintain these states for up to 72 microseconds. While that might sound short, in the quantum world, it's a huge improvement. Another impressive innovation is the flip chip technique, which allows components to be tightly connected, reducing energy loss and making the processor faster and more efficient. This level of precision and design is crucial for making quantum computers practical and reliable. While Google's Willow focuses on fixing errors and improving reliability, Zhuchangji 3.0 is all about raw power, pushing quantum computing to handle calculations far beyond what classical computers can achieve. This processor solved the problem of something called random circuit sampling, which involves running a series of unpredictable calculations and recording the results. To put this into perspective, imagine trying to write down the outcomes of billions of coin tosses, but with the added complexity of quantum mechanics. Zhuchengji 3.0 completed this task in just a few seconds. By comparison, Frontier, with its massive power and memory, would take 6.4 billion years to do the same thing. This achievement is known as quantum advantage, a point where quantum computers outperform even the best classical machines. This processor didn't just match Google's Sycamore processor, which achieved quantum advantage in 2019, it surpassed it. While Sycamore used 67 qubits, it tackled the challenge with 83 qubits, demonstrating calculations that were six times more complex. But why does this matter? Quantum Advantage shows that quantum computers can solve problems that classical computers simply can't. This could have a huge impact on industries like cybersecurity, where quantum computers might crack codes that are currently unbreakable. It could also revolutionize drug discovery, allowing scientists to simulate molecules in ways never possible before, speeding up the development of new medicines. What's more, Zhuchongji 3.0's performance relies on improvements in accuracy. By reducing the chances of errors during calculations, the processor has become more reliable, paving the way for tackling real-world problems in the near future. Around the world, researchers are making incredible progress. IBM recently unveiled a quantum processor with 433 qubits, named Osprey, showcasing the rapid pace of advancement in quantum hardware. Osprey's focus lies in scalability, pushing the boundaries of how many qubits can be effectively integrated into a single system. Such advancements bring us closer to solving real-world problems with quantum computing, like optimizing global supply chains or accelerating drug discovery. At the same time, companies like Honeywell and IonQ are exploring trapped ion quantum systems, which offer a different approach to quantum computing. These systems excel in precision and stability, using ions suspended in electromagnetic fields to perform calculations. Honeywell recently announced its H1 quantum computer, which focuses on modularity, 
allowing future systems to be scaled by connecting multiple modules seamlessly. This approach could pave the way for distributed quantum computing networks. Beyond building powerful processors, scientists are finding new ways to use them. For instance, Google's Quantum TensorFlow integrates quantum computing into machine learning frameworks, accelerating tasks like training neural networks. Similarly, quantum computers are being used to simulate molecules like caffeine to understand chemical reactions better. These simulations could lead to breakthroughs in energy storage, material science, and pharmaceuticals, helping us develop more efficient batteries or discover new drugs. Quantum communication is another exciting area. Researchers are leveraging quantum mechanics to develop unhackable communication methods. For example, China's Mishia satellite demonstrated quantum key distribution, QKD, over long distances, providing a glimpse into a future where secure data transmission is guaranteed. As quantum communication networks expand, they could revolutionize how sensitive information is shared from financial transactions to military communications. One of the most promising developments is the idea of combining quantum and classical computers. Think of it like a team where each member plays to their strengths. Classical computers handle everyday tasks, while quantum processors tackle the really tough problems. This hybrid approach could unlock entirely new possibilities in fields like artificial intelligence, cryptography, and financial modeling. A related advancement in this hybrid direction comes from Rigetti Computing, which has pioneered cloud-based quantum classical systems. Rigetti's platform allows developers to run quantum and classical computations side by side, streamlining the process of building practical quantum applications. This integration is a crucial step in making quantum technology accessible to a wider range of industries. Of course, challenges remain. Quantum computers are still prone to errors, and scaling them up to handle even more complex tasks is no small feat. However, with advancements like Zhu Changji 3.0, IBM's Osprey, and Honeywell's modular systems, the gap between what's possible and what's practical is getting smaller every day. Thank you for watching. We hope this deep dive into quantum computing has been both exciting and informative. Stay tuned for more updates as we continue to explore the future of technology. Let's keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible.